Uh, so I've got about four main ways really of engaging the subconscious mind into solving a problem. Uh, one is through direct hypnotic suggestion that you'll be familiar with from stage shows. Uh, just to make sure that you respond to that type of thing, we might have a bit of fun, like sticking you to your chair, uh, making you forget your name and then giving it back to you, uh, or even some positive or negative hallucinations, um, and then using that phenomenon to actually change the problem. So that can be fun, but that's not going to work for everybody. Um, another way might be to just really focus you inwards. Um, and uh, tackle the problem by making it into a metaphor and using your creative imaginative mind to change the metaphor, thereby changing the problem. Um, a third way might be to actually engage your subconscious mind into giving me subconscious signals for yes, uh, for no, and then I can ask questions, get to the bottom of the problem and negotiate a change for you with your subconscious who's always eager to help. Uh, the fourth way would be a more therapeutic approach. Sometimes people just need to deal with stuff head on. So I might hypnotize you to identify an unwanted emotion and find out where that emotion first became a part of your life and then resolve it. Resolve it so that it doesn't keep cropping up in your current day to day. So those are just four of the ways that I might use to engage your subconscious mind into solving the problem that you've come to me with. That's Alex Vretel's hypnotist. Changing your mind need not take time.